guys, I'm Sandy and I'm a homeschooling mom to two boys. I have an eight-year-old who is in third grade and I have a 10-year-old who's in fifth grade. And I wanted to film a few videos just to show you some curriculums and workbooks that we have used in the last two years. So I pulled my boys out of public school two years ago and I'm definitely not an expert in the long-term usage of the curriculums, but I can tell you what we liked and what you didn't like. And I really wanted to show these videos so that you can actually flip through the books and see the curriculums that I've actually used, especially if you have little boys. Hopefully you can get some ideas. All right, so let's get started. So this year we are using Teaching Textbooks 3.0, which is a completely online math curriculum. And it's really e easy to navigate. My children really like it because we can become more independent. And I actually still sit with them while they're doing their lessons, but I go kind of back and forth between both of my kids and I give them like little hints and clues on how to solve the problems a little bit easier. And this is my younger son's page. You can customize it. He picked a red background and he picked a little alligator buddy. And this is the third, he's in third grade, but he took the placement test and I placed him in level four. And there's all the lessons over here. Down here, when you click on a, le a lesson, there is first a lecture, and then you've got practice problems. And then you've got the actual problems underneath it. On this lesson, there are 22 problems. And the practice problems don't count towards your grade, but the other problems underneath it do. And if you happen to get, like score really low on a particular lesson, I can actually go in and erase the entire lesson or I can erase just one problem. Here's the lecture. And so for my younger son. Three, place value. All of our numbers, small numbers to really large numbers are written using just. And the practice. And a problem. And so for my younger son, I don't need to print out the textbook. He can do everything in his mind. But my older son, he wants me to print out the textbook. There's a lot of handwriting that you've got to do in older grades when you calculate out equations. And he really likes to have the equation already written down on the paper so he doesn't have to write that in addition. So this is my older son's page. He is in fifth grade and he was placed in the math six. And he had picked an ocean background and a kind of teddy bear buddy. Let's see, there are, how many lessons does he have? And we do one lesson a day. He's got 116 lessons and then throughout the whole throughout the whole curriculum and the lessons there are quizzes mixed in so it looks like there's 19 quizzes mixed into it. And that's pretty much it for teaching textbook 3.0 for us. Uh, we like it, we're most likely going to stick with it next year. So um, the two items that we were using last year that we're not using anymore this year were easy peasy math and that was the first half of the year and then we used spectrum the second half. So the easy peasy math, um, my kids finished in December and January. So they just flew through the program. They actually really liked it, but they just flew through too fast. And despite the fact that they did get through it fast, I felt like it did cover everything they were supposed to be learning for their grade level. Um, and easy peasy is a free online program. And we actually really liked it. You can see here's some of the worksheets. You can print up all the worksheets and then they play games online if you want, so they're not on all the time on the computer. And my son actually really likes the little animals on all the worksheets. Here's the Easy Peasy Math website. It's actually fairly easy to follow along for the child. This is just Math 3. And here's a book that you can actually buy if you want, if you don't feel like printing up everything. And it's separated by days. They can click on all the links and it's either for lectures, which is usually the first link, and then the rest are, are games that they can play online. And then there's a worksheet after that. 
And um, some of the games, the link did not work. Or I couldn't get the game to work right on my computer. And honestly, if I had really tried to work on my computer, I probably could have eventually gotten the game to work. But I just didn't feel like taking the time for that. So usually if the game wasn't working, I would go onto our tablet and I would find an educational game with the same subject. And just have the kids do the game on the tablet. And the only thing that was a little difficult with this curriculum were when you have multiple children doing it at the same time, you need to keep really good records about which day each kid is on. And the other one we used for the second half was the spectrum math, which is definitely not for a standalone curriculum. So spectrum math is perfect for practice. And there are little examples on the pages, but it's just not enough to teach a child like a instructor would. And it's a really good supplement if you want to make sure your kids are staying on track for their grade level. In the back there's the answer key. It tears out really easy if you want to tear it out and put it in a binder. There's a lot of practice in here. So the last workbook that I'm going to show you is an Evan Moore Daily Math Practice. And I'd found this at the Goodwill. I'd heard a lot of things about this online. And I have not started this yet. So, so far because of the teaching textbooks, my son has not needed any extra help. But this is definitely a good workbook if your child needs extra daily practice. And you can see all the different types of problems are all mixed up. So it's not just like one lesson on multiplication and then another lesson on charts. Everything is completely mixed up. And it looks like they're short lessons and they're divided up by the days. And then there should be an answer key in the very back. Yep, there's the answer key. So that is all I've been using for math so far. And I hope my video has helped you out a little bit.